so you know we kind of wanted to do our second restaurant to something that was uh, a name that kind of was impactful for Memphis and, and, and Tennessee and kind of where we're from so uh, we were doing some research and Mikey actually came across uh, the, the name Hog and Hominy um, for in the late 1800s Tennessee was the biggest producer of pork and corn in the country and they kind of got the nickname the Hog and Hominy State so we kind of thought that it was a little snappy uh, had a little pop to it so we kind of went with that which was also strange for a pizza joint but um, but it's worked out Hominy, you know, Andrew Michael opened in 2008 and Hogan Hominy was 2013. Yeah, so for the first, you know, first couple of years, it was just Andy, myself, uh, and then one other cook and Andrew Michael. And then our dads would take turns coming in to work at the kitchen with us at nighttime. So we really, um, our whole vision was if we could get a restaurant small enough to where that we could just do it ourselves be good so we never for the first three years we never stepped foot out of the kitchen and it was great um, and then we started having good people come underneath us and so we had to expand and train them like we talked about doing hog and hominy when we were opening andrew michael like we knew first week we knew we wanted to do that we worked i mean like we were, we were in it like we loved it we I don't, we didn't take a day off the first year andrew michael was open we didn't take the same day off until after two years of it being open like we were really want to make sure that it was going to be a that it was we didn't screw good, up. Yeah, I want to make sure it was okay. So we spent, uh, you know, Mike and I went to Charleston, South Carolina, for culinary school and uh, at Johnson and Wells University. And after we graduated and worked in industry for a few years, we moved to Calabria, Italy, and went to school there. And while we were, you know, living in Italy, we kind of fell in love. Uh, with the Italian approach and philosophy to food, uh, they, they kind of—if you look at Italy as a map, each specific region is special for a certain thing. They just get really good at what's around and use what's around them. And so we kind of were like, well, let's do that same approach and just, when we come back home to Memphis. So uh, we really got to know our, our local farmers um, and kind of let that stuff inspire what we did. For our menus so it wasn't a traditional american italian restaurant it was an italian influence restaurant in the american south so you know uh, we work with a lot of local farmers um and and, and regional farmers uh but like you know our proteins right now you know come from uh, home place pastures in coma mississippi it's about 45 minute drive um they've got you know our pork and, and beef um, our vegetables, we, we've been getting a lot from Wilson, Arkansas, uh, Wilson Gardens, and uh, Woodson Ridge Farms in Oxford. Uh, um, so my favorite dish would be all of the pizzas. Um, right now, I mean, that's what I love about that restaurant. Um, you know, it took us a couple of years to really get the dough how we wanted it and uh, you know every time we every time I take a bite of one of those pizzas it's a bit to bring me back to Italy and uh, yeah I have to say the pizzas mm -hmm. what I love I love what we do with vegetables over there but if I had to pick one it would definitely be the Thunderbird pizza I love we've always like when we live in it when we went to Italy went to Sicily and went up to Naples for a little while and we just kind of fell in love with pizza and we knew um, starting way back when we wanted a pizza restaurant so Pizza Kitchen is, uh, is, is probably this my soft spot over there. Make a pizza, work in the oven. I mean, to work that oven is crazy because it's it's no gas. It's just all wood, so it's we have you have to make sure the fire's right, the dough's right. Everything's kind of like the pizza dough, the fire. They're both alive, and they're you know. So there's a lot of variables that you have to keep on. So that's definitely the pizza. I'm sure he said the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Depends on the day of the week. Um, you know, Hog and Hominy has grown into the, our kind of casual spot um, in the neighborhood that you could come a couple times a week. Um, you can bring the kids and the family um, and have a nice meal. 
or it's also a place where you could go have a date night, uh, you know, or go for a grizzly game, or an Orpheum show, or, or have come back from one of those things and have a late night bite. Like it's had, it's, it's kind of got all kinds of identities uh, that, that people, you see kind of all shapes and sizes. We were in Italy, um, our favorite restaurants to go eat at were the, the, the mom and pop kind of neighborhood places that were mostly in people's homes. They didn't have a sign on the door. You just kind of knew as a local living in town where you could go and do these things. And you'd honestly go there, walk in and sit down and eat in their home without a menu or anything. It was just whatever they were cooking that day. Um, there was no linen tablecloths. There was, uh, it was just very uh, rustic and homey and, uh, and that, that kind of, we definitely wanted to have that that, that experience come across to our customers. Probably the New York Times. Uh, GQ is up there for sure. Um, and Bon Appetit, but I think New York, we've always kind of wanted to be in the New York Times, and so that was a uh, that was a that was a pretty cool phone call. Oh, oh God, all the time. Our families are always here. Yeah, they're great. Oh. They, they they actually uh, you know our our, our moms and, and our, our uncles they all went to a little, little flower together for for school and they all kind of went to like high school together so they knew each other before and then they, they, it's great they didn't really hang out after they had got married and had kids and then as we got older and met and then they all kind of started yeah. hanging out against her always and Andy here my cousin I did marry his cousin so she's uh, yeah. We, we, but we do, I mean, they, they do everything. They're here, they, Andy's dad built all the three restaurants in, in, over here. And Mikey's dad and mom now work with us full time. His, his aunt as well, and she does all the artwork. And for Andrew, uh, and for Andrew Michael. Um, it's really been a family family affair for sure. They're, they're always here though. Like they, our parents hang out Friday nights. Um, and then Mother's Day brunch at Andrew Michael's kind of become a tradition where all of our families eat at like, Two o'clock when it's the last service, so we just hang out. It's great. It's fun. Yeah. We could, I, you know, couldn't imagine doing what we do with, without their support. So they, you know, yeah, they could give us. We're so lucky to be able to work with them and see them all the time. Like for it's, sure. it's pretty neat to be able to do that while we're working.